Good morning. Um, hopefully your day started now good. I had a very difficult time sleeping yesterday, so yeah. Um, today you're being asked to embrace change and express your feelings. Um, okay, <laughs> trying to see where to start. So let's start with Stop people pleasing and again a lot of these things go back to when you were a kid and depending on you were raised and a lot of that bullshit but you have to be able to be your authentic self you have to be comfortable with who you are and be able to speak your truth you know you can't be afraid of your truth because the more you run from it the more problems it's gonna cause because spirit's trying to guide you to something they're trying to teach you a lesson and you're not learning it because you keep mm, what am I doing? like you keep doing everything for everybody else at your expense you know you're allowing all these people to take advantage of you because you don't know how to say no you don't have boundaries so you have to stop doing that and if it's someone that you're in a relationship with that it's constantly getting over on you then again you need to stop that shit because it's at your expense you know you need to take a look at how you feel on a regular basis like are you drained are you exhausted do you feel like you don't get anything back from the people you're giving to you know really look at it and analyze and if yes <laughs> is an answer to most of those fucking questions then you need to stop you know it's a, like you have to do what's best for you and it's hard. I know it's hard because it's me, you know, it's me. And it's something that took time. And it's uncomfortable at first and you'd be feeling bad, but fuck that shit. No. You need to do what's best for you. So stop pleasing everybody else and worry about pleasing yourself. Because it's your life. Nobody's gonna remember shit that you did on this fucking planet. So live it the fuck up. Do what you wanna do. Fuck everybody else's feelings, you know? That's their own shit. How you feel is your shit. So please surrender that it's not good for you, it's not healthy for you, and ultimately it's not beneficial for any type of relationship, especially a personal one, because it takes a toll on the relationship and one person just giving, 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 and the other's taking, taking, taking. At some point, you just say, fuck it, you know, you end up depressed or you just don't even understand what the fuck's happening. So don't do that. And it's going to take self-discipline. You have to really be determined to put yourself first you know you have to be like no this is what i want to do this is what i need to do whether it's go get your hair done your nails done fucking take a walk take an hour long bath whatever the fuck it is that makes you feel better do that okay you need to focus on yourself and in expressing your feelings it's gonna cause changes but you have to embrace the change you know the changes that are coming you have to be open to them and accept them and sometimes it's not going to be the best changes and other times it's going to be amazing. But you have to be open to it. You know, with every ending comes a new beginning. And if you don't allow things to end, then there's not going to be a new beginning, you know, because you're holding on to the past. And you can't hold on to the past and expect something to change. You know, you keep holding on to something because it's comfortable and it's complacent. And that's what you're used to going to. You have to release that. You have to just see like, all right, you know what? I'm open. I'm willing to do whatever the fuck you want me to do, spirit, because that's really where you be at in life. It's either you're going to be willing to do it or they're going to make you do it. You don't really have a fucking choice. We like to think we do, but the reality is no. So, you know, and when you speak your truth, do it with compassion. You know, don't be an asshole about it. You know, sometimes it's necessary, but typically no you know just be like hey um this is what's going on or you know what i'm done doing this because i don't feel good about it and it makes me feel bad because a lot of times people don't know how it makes you feel you know they just think oh this person's gonna do it because they're just nice or they always do it or they just think you're a pushover and you probably are but you know approach the situation with compassion don't just come at it being a straight bitch or a straight asshole you know, and try to explain how you feel so that way they have some understanding as to why you're implementing these changes, why you're setting these boundaries, why you are now putting yourself first because it's going to be uncomfortable to them. 
but don't fold to nobody. Do not fold for nobody. You know, you be who the fuck you are and you do what is best for you. And at some point, they either going to join the team or they're going to keep it pushing. And that's what it is. And if they want to keep it pushing, allow that to happen because it's for your highest fucking good. You know, a person that cares, they're going to understand your boundaries, even though it might be uncomfortable. They will adjust to that shit and they'll be like, all right, I'm still here. Let's work it out. You know, so don't worry about none of that shit. You know, everything grows, everything changes. And if the people you are dealing with genuinely give a fuck about you, then they will understand that. You know, and as relationships change, they either evolve and they grow with you into something better or they deteriorate, you know, and they fall away. So either way, you know, everything's always in a constant state of change. You have to be open to that change in order to get the blessings that are meant for you. You know, if you stay stuck and you're focused on one thing, your whole life is passing you by because you're focused on this and you're not looking at everything else that's happening. So just be open to the changes, be open to all of these things, you know, stop pleasing everybody else and please yourself, okay? Yourself first and primary, everything else after you, okay? So, all those together, and again, being asked to focus on the positive, you know. I know it's hard, especially if you feel stuck and you feel like, yeah, I've been putting in all this fucking work, I just put in all this time, all this fucking energy into all this shit, and for what? You know, it's frustrating, you get pissed the fuck off. But understand that everything happens in the timing, it's supposed to happen and it happens for your highest good. So please just focus on the outcome, you know, hold that vision, like don't let that shit go. And I know it's frustrating, (laughs) I know, but just try to focus on the positive, you know, try to find the blessing in it. So if it's something that's taking forever, then you'd be like, okay, well maybe things wouldn't have worked out the way I wanted them to. So spirit's probably clearing some things away. Or if it's a relationship, you know, maybe they're not ready to be committed. And it's a blessing for you, you know, and it probably feels like, damn, this is fucked up, but it is what it is. You know, they're not healed. They're not, you don't know what's going on with them. So if you're waiting for somebody, stop waiting. You know, when they're ready, they'll come around. You know, if it's meant for you, then it's meant for you. But move on. Don't pause your fucking life for nobody, you know, because ultimately if they want to be there, they let you know they want to be there. And if they don't want to be there, then what the fuck are you waiting for? Don't sit there and put your life on hold for someone that's not showing or making any moves or putting in any type of effort to show you that, yes, I want this. And they're not letting you know. You know, don't let people just pop in and out your life and be like, oh, yeah, well, this and that. No, it's either you be honest and you tell me what you want and how we're going to do this or leave me the fuck alone so that I can move on with my life peacefully. So just focus on the positive aspects of these things, okay? And don't put yourself on pause for nobody, okay? It's your life and you don't know when your last day is going to be. So keep it pushing at all times. If they meant for you, they'll find a way to come back to you. You know, fuck it. And if they miss out on the opportunity, then it's their fucking loss. It's not your loss. You did what you were supposed to do. So don't give no fucks. (laughs) And please release your past. Um... Anything you're holding on to, any negative energy, any bad habits, relationships, anything that has not been beneficial to you, you have to release that so that you can move past it, you know, and I know it's hard sometimes, especially when we be in our feelings and we just feel like our fucking world's falling apart and everything's constantly against us, you know, but try to release those things, like really go and do the inner work so that you can heal, if you need to fucking cry cry put on a sad ass movie and cry your fucking eyeballs out whatever it is to get it out like let it out you need to scream fucking scream i do all of those things <laughs> you know and it feel you feel better because it's a release you're releasing this toxicity inside of you so let it out okay so stop people pleasing fuck those people i don't care who it is you'd be like nah i gotta take care of me and then i'll take care of you okay that's how that works so if they keep they not with it, tell them to get the fuck out of here. Okay? And be comfortable when you're expressing yourself. Just be compassionate, you know. Don't be fucking harsh and rude. And, unless that's all they understand, then I don't know. But <laughs> try to be compassionate, you know. Everything changes. And 
as you start changing and implementing boundaries, your relationships are also going to change and be okay with it, okay? Just be okay with the change, be compassionate, be your true authentic self. Always express how you feel, okay? And be disciplined enough to maintain the boundaries, maintain that you are first and primary that you need to take care of, okay? And stay focused on the positive because everything works out the way you want it to work out. So what you're putting your energy into, it's what you're going to get. And if you're in constant, fuck this, I'm over this shit, I don't even want this shit, then you're not going to want this shit and it's going to be done over with. It's negative energy. And if you do, then just be like, all right, you know, whatever, just let it rock. And don't even think about it. Just let the shit rock because if you want it, you don't want it at this point, it don't even fucking matter anymore. Just like, fuck it. But you know just expect the best everything is working out for you in your favor and spirit's always with you to try to help you and guide you fucking listen and pay attention to the signs that they give you um i love you guys i hope you have an awesome day i have to hurry up and run out of here i'm gonna be late talk to y'all later